Hi, so I'm Billy Manskin, a lawman, and today I'm here with Rachel Maddie, the lady who does a lot of our DUI work. I am. I'm Rachel Maddie. I do a lot of the DUI work. Yeah, she's pretty good at it, right? I am pretty good at it. My clients think so. Yeah, she gets pretty good results. Mm -hmm. I yeah. try. But we're going to talk about something serious today. We're going to talk about the DUI Diversion Program offered here in Orange County. Mm -hmm. DUI Diversion here in Orange County is a really excellent opportunity for some first-time offenders because it results in a full dismissal of your charges if you successfully get through the program. And for a lot of people, this is really all they're looking for. They get charged with the DUI and they just want it to go away. What's great about it is if you get it dropped, you can expunge it, right? That's true. You can always petition to seal or expunge your record if you get a case dropped. And a DUI conviction, it's a mandatory conviction. It's on your record for life. As so. long as you have no prior convictions, uh, that's especially important. But what's great is if you have no prior history, you get into the diversion program, get it dropped, get it expunged, a lot of people won't be able to see it, right? Yeah. And that's yeah. important for most of our clients here because, you know, they have jobs and they have career aspirations. They don't want this popping up on a background check five years from now. So let's talk about those things that are, um, are some of the things that allow you to get into the program. What are some of the things that the prosecutor is looking for to let you in? So first thing, absolutely no criminal history. Um, second thing are, are factual discrepancies. If it's a crash case, you're most likely not going to qualify. If you blew over a 0.22, you're most likely not going to qualify. I'm being so negative right now. Let's talk about the things that get you into the program. All right. So lack of criminal history. Um, if you had, yeah, if you have a generally pleasant experience with the police officer, you know, cooperative, not combative. Um, and basically, if you're just willing to do the work, that's really what it comes down to. Also, the driving pattern is not so bad. Right. The driving pattern, too, is another factual discrepancy that could keep you out. Um, going the wrong way down a one-way street, any crash case. We're getting erratic. into the negative again. Let's keep in the negative. But in fact, we might as well talk about the negative since, since those are the serious things that keep you out. Um, so if a crash doesn't let you in? Right, no crash. What if you uh, fall asleep behind the wheel of a vehicle in the middle of the road? Those also get rejected. Yeah. And and the what reason if, the reason being that that's a very dangerous way to be driving. You know, you're falling asleep at a green light or a red light. Typically, the state attorney's office will think that, you know, it's not a case. It, it, you cause danger to the public. So I think it's no harm, no foul, personally. But, you know, the state attorney's being difficult about it, but whatever. But, okay, so accident, falling asleep behind the wheel. Yeah. What about doing 90 to 45? If the speeding is too much to where the prosecutor finds in their discretion that you caused a danger to the public, then they won't offer that to you. They have too much discretion. A lot of power. Yeah, a lot of power. What if what if you what if your tire just hits a curb? Like I've got a car with like twenty inch wheels and I constantly hit the curb. You're telling me if I get pulled over tonight and they arrest me for DUI, I can't get in the diversion program? So that's a tricky one. I actually have a case right now where someone hit a curb. The prosecutor themselves didn't really want to offer it, um, but we were able to negotiate for them to look at it a second time, long story short. No one else was on the road. We talked to the prosecutor about that. We had video evidence that no one was on the road. It was really late at night and our client actually did get the version. Wow, that's an awesome result. I didn't mm -hmm. know that. That's great. So um, tell me about the requirements of the program. So the requirements of the program depend if you are um, accepted into tier one or tier two. Okay, so what is the difference between tier one and tier two? Tier one and tier two are a little different. If you refuse to blow a uh, blow and give a breath sample, you're going to be required to do tier two. If you blew over a 0.15, you're going to be required to do tier two. And the difference between tier one and tier two is an enhanced fine from $500 to $1,000. And in tier two, you have to have an ignition interlock device for six months. But if you're complaining about that, just realize, imagine there wasn't this program and you had to plead guilty to a DUI or you found guilty of a DUI, or maybe even got your charge reduced to a reckless, which is not as good as getting a drop. You'd still have to do those same penalties, right? Yeah, exactly. If you got a reckless driving and the state still wanted the enhanced DUI penalties, you're still going to be stuck with that fine and that interlock anyway. So just remember, if you get into the Orange County Diversion Program for DUIs, the charge gets dropped. Which is awesome. Why is it important to get a lawyer uh, involved in that kind of case? Well, for a lot of reasons. In all honesty, you know, once you accept pretrial diversion, the court can just stop giving you court dates on your case. It's called abating your case. And then when that happens, if you move or if you just forget to check your mail or your kid accidentally throws your mail in the trash and you don't know when your contract signing date is, guess what? You miss that one contract signing date, you're done with the program. They kick you out, they set you back in court for trial. Having a lawyer on your case means that you've got a professional who's actually monitoring those court dates for you and those contract signing dates for you. And I actually think most of the time with us involved or lawyers, involved, you don't even have to go to many of your court dates, if any at all, right? Yeah, absolutely. We resolve a lot of DUIs through diversion without our clients ever setting foot in court at all, even once. Yeah, that's great. Well, I'm glad you talked about the Orange County Diversion Program, Rachel, and we look forward to helping you. If you have any questions, you give the lawman or Rachel here a call, 407-228-3838.
We're here to help. Lawman out.